Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials, and in this video, I'm going to be explaining the concept of blocks in Drupal. Now, blocks are a big part of how you manage your content on the site and how you move things around. So there's a lot to learn about how you use and move around blocks. It's a very powerful thing. So we're going to take a couple of videos and talk about blocks. So to understand Drupal, and how it differs from other content management systems, it's important to really understand the block system. Now, as an administrator, if you hover over some of these sections and we click this, you'll see a lot of configure block. And now that might be confusing if you've never used Drupal or maybe don't know necessarily what a block is. Now, if we were to think about this layout, you can see that when we hover over the pencil, we get an outline around something. And that little grouping of code is a block. For instance, we hover over this. You can see that it's an, a menu, but it's also a block. This header, this logo area is a block. This search section is a block. And you can think of a block as any grouping of content. And you'll notice that going throughout your site, you'll find lots of blocks everywhere. So to start, let's get rid of this powered by Drupal. So we could do that simply by coming to this pencil and clicking configure block. Now what this is going to do is take us to the block configuration page. Now some of these may be very different. You'll see in a minute that when we look at the header block, there's some options there. And we have some options here, such as display the title, which is unchecked. So if we were to check display title, save the block, now when we come down here, you can see that it says powered by Drupal twice because this is the title of the block and this is the content of the block. Let's go ahead and come back to configure block here. Now there's a lot you can do in here. For instance, you can restrict this to particular content types. You can restrict it to specific pages of which using a pattern, which we'll have to go over in another video, and you can restrict it to roles. Let's say, for instance, you have a website that only shows ads to anonymous users. You might have a block that has an ad and you would just check only show to anonymous users. Now, in addition, we have region. Now, the region is the area of the site where this block is displayed. You'll notice we have footer first, second, third, fourth, fifth, featured, sidebar, content, breadcrumb, header, all sorts of stuff. Now, this list is going to be different based on what theme you have. Your theme is going to be able to provide the regions that these blocks are placed in. That makes it so that Drupal system is endlessly flexible. You can swap out themes, move your blocks to a new region, and still have them show up correctly. Let's actually head to structure now, and let's come to block layout. You'll note from block layout, we'll see a big long list of all of our blocks. It's going to be from top of the page down. So you'll notice we have header, primary menu. And if we keep scrolling down, you'll see we have footer fifth. For instance, we have this powered by Drupal block that we just saw, and it's in footer fifth. Let's say we don't want this block to show up at all. Well, we can actually move it to none. Now, if it's in the none position, it's not gonna show up anywhere. And we can just click save. Now after saving, let's scroll down here once more. And you'll see in footer fifth, we no longer have powered by Drupal, but just footer menu. And in disabled, we have powered by Drupal. If we head to the front of our site, you'll notice that that block no longer shows up. In addition, let's see we have the search bar here and the tools right here. Let's say we want the tools to be first. Let's actually head to structure, block layout once more. And from here, we can scroll down to what would be the sidebar. So sidebar first has search and tools. Now we want those to swap. So let's click and drag this and move tools above search. Now you'll notice it has an asterisk next to it, which essentially means that there are unsaved changes. So we have to come to the bottom of the page and now click save blocks for this to take effect. If we come back to our site, you'll see that tools is now above search. 
So working with blocks in Drupal is really intuitive and it's a really nice system. If you're coming from other content management systems, it might not be what you're used to, but you will get used to blocks very quickly. Now blocks can contain all sorts of stuff. It can contain, as you see, a search functionality. It can contain a menu. It can contain just basic blocks of text. It can contain a logo. You notice it can contain a menu up here. And we're going to get into all of those different types of blocks in the next few videos. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment in the video. Hit me up at Twitter or Facebook at Level Up Tutorials. I love to hear from you. If you want to purchase the rest of these videos before they're available on YouTube, head to store.leveluptutorials.com or sign up to be a Level Up Pro. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.